Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, February 17th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. I was with the catsup peeps for lunch yesterday. We were recording a beer cast, and I had to return a tent that they loaned to me when I was going to MC the Military Bowl that didn't happen. But we did record that new beer podcast at West End Grill, and I tried a new, well, a new-to-me flavor of wings there called the Otis. I'm not sure what's all in it, but if you like heat on your wings, this is the wing for you. All right, there is lots of news today, so let's get into it, shall we? Good news for some, disconcerting news for others. Yesterday afternoon, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. George Arlotto, said that he got word that 80% of the county's eligible population was vaccinated, and that was an off-ramp for masking of students. So that was his recommendation to the school board last night, an immediate lifting of the mask mandate. The board is ultimately responsible for that decision, and they voted unanimously to lift the mandate effective Friday, February 18th. There are a few caveats, so don't toss the mass out just yet. School buses are still considered public transportation under federal regulations, so masks must be worn while on school buses. And bad news for the kids that attend school on Fort Meade. Federal regulations still require masks in those buildings, and the schools will have to follow the regulations of the post. The Maryland State Police are wading into the unemployment fiasco. They put out a strong warning yesterday about an increase in unemployment fraud. And generally, it is an email or a text that is very well crafted to look like it did come from the Labor Department. And since it is still so fouled up, many people may be expecting communications from the Labor Department. Anyhow, it obviously asks you to log in because it's, quote, secure. And bam, now they have access to your account and the ability to redirect your unemployment funds to their account. They say that since the pandemic start, they've flagged nearly 2.3 million false claims. And to protect yourself, they say never click or respond. The Labor Department does not work through text messages or direct messages on social media. They will never ask you to pay for assistance. And they recommend that you verify the email addresses from a Maryland.gov email. But I'm going to say that's a little bit flawed as it's very easy to spoof an email address. If you get an email, if you don't know how to look at the headers and verify it, my advice is to pick up a phone and call the Labor Department to verify that any communication is authentic. Hey, here's a very simple way to help the Bay. Check off that box on line 35 of your Maryland state tax return and donate a dollar or five or 10 or maybe a hundred or even a million dollars. And it will come right out of your tax refund and go directly to the Chesapeake Bay Trust. And if you are looking at a million dollar refund, we need to go have some beers. Earlier this week, we told you about the Annapolis Rotary and their scholarships for students. Now, the Parole Rotary is getting into the game, and they have some money for local nonprofits. If you are involved with a nonprofit that serves the needs of kids in the areas of education, health, and the arts, and that seems pretty broad to me, you can apply for a grant. The applications are all due on March 18th, so there is some time. You want to head to parole-rotary.org and use the drop-down menu for foundation grants to get started. Some political news. Former Annapolis Mayor Mike Panalides has tossed his hat into the ring for Anne Arundel County Council and will take on current District 6 Councilwoman Lisa Rodvian. Currently, they are the only two in the race for that seat, with Panalides being the Republican and Rodvian being the Democrat. And tonight, the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park rolls on with their winter lecture series. It is virtual again this year, and the cost is only $10, but it is included for no cost with a membership of First Mate and above. Up this week at 7 p.m. is Dr. Matthew Perry, an educator and scientist. He is not an actor on Friends. It's important to know the difference. He will be discussing Commodore Matthew Perry, also not an actor on Friends, accomplishment, fighting piracy in the 1820 and 1830s, claiming Key West for the United States, repatriating freed slaves to Africa, and suppressing the illegal slave trade. This sounds really fascinating, to be honest with you. 
amaritime.org is where you need to go to get your tickets or to buy a membership. And you may want to check out their summer camp registrations because they're open right now and they're going fast. So if you have little ones and you're trying to figure out what to do with them for the summer, there's a great option. And as we wrap it up, this Saturday on the Local Business Spotlight, SOFO and coming up soon, Fence and Dex Connection, Wild Kid Acres, Liquor Martin Deli, Chesapeake Youth Symphony Orchestra, Snap Fitness, Unity Gardens, the Junior League, and a whole bunch more. Keep sending me suggestions of any organizations or businesses that should be spotlighted. Info at ionanapolis.net or a DM on Twitter will do it. And that is it for the news today. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Rehab to Perform, Solar Energy Services, Alpha Engineering, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. It is Thursday, so we do have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace here with your Maker Minutes. And of course, George from DC MDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather. All of that gets underway in a bit, so hang tight. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMD VA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, February 17th. Yesterday was definitely a bit nicer across the Annapolis region, despite some breezy winds with temps around the 50 degree mark, and it'll be much warmer today, but also wetter in the PM hours and windier with breezy winds sticking around through Saturday. Look for highs today in the low to mid 60s with some mid to late PM rain likely, along with winds gusting in the afternoon and nighttime hours over 40 miles per hour at times. Ahead of temps in the low 50s Friday to end the work and school week, with winds staying up as gusts over 35 miles per hour continue, with a sunny weekend ahead for the region with highs each day near 50 degrees, with winds staying breezy Saturday before finally settling down Sunday, ahead of a much above average week next week, with temps in the upper 50s to mid 60s each day, Monday through Friday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, as well as through our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely download our DCMDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. On behalf of Just One Sweater, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of our sweater getters. We could not have collected over 10,000 items of warm clothing and distributed them to communities in need this season without the help of our WRNR listeners. I hope it's not too cliche to say, you guys rock. Hi, I'm Christy Neidhart. As we spend more time in our homes, we're becoming more familiar with what we love or want to change about the places we live. If you're finding you need more work from home space, ready to downsize, or looking for an amazing waterfront retreat, we can help. We can set you up to receive a list of homes before they hit the market. We can come out and help you get your home ready for sale with our list of responsive, talented, good value contractors, organizers, declutter helpers, home stagers, and more. If you're financing your new home, we can connect you with our bridge loan resources so that you may not have to sell your current home until you're all moved into your new one. Give us a call. We can help you start this new year off with a new home. That's another moving moment with Christy Neidhart of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster company. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. 
Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Nits and Pieces off of Bestgate Road has a few classes coming up. Their Toft Crochet Animals and Learn to Knit a Gambit Cardi Sweater classes are both sold out. But on Tuesday, they have a Learn to Knit session. And on Wednesday, they have Fixing Your Mistakes. And registration is open for their Advanced Beginner Knitting class, Making a Depipe Cow, as well as their Unraveling Ravelry class, coming up in March. And as always, check out their knit coaching sessions on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Tomorrow, the Creative and Performing Arts of South County is having another art night for ages 7 through 10, as well as another session for ages 11 and up at Whole Foods in Annapolis. Today, their Half Pine Kids Club is doing Sweetheart Pancakes. Tomorrow, Chef Alba will be doing a Festa di San Valentino with a delicious, easy, and romantic menu. And then on Tuesday, their Half Pine Kids Club is doing Strawberry Parfaits at Art Farm in Annapolis. Saturday, check out their Make It Kids Winter Landscape Watercolor Workshop. On Tuesday, their Virtual Botanical Drawing Class for Beginners starts. And continuing this week, today there's Teen Photography. Saturday, there's Beginner Painting for Kids. Monday, there's Kids Fundamentals of Drawing, as well as a Nude Figure Drawing Class later in the day. Tuesday, there's Graphic Design for ages 12 through 17. And Wednesday, there's a 3D Sculpture Class. And registration is open for their other winter semester classes starting in February and running into March, with classes such as the Make It Kids Slime Workshops at the Benjamin Banneker Museum in Park in Ellicott City. Friday, they're doing a frozen solid night hike for the snow moon. Saturday, they have nature tots, cooking in the cabin food demonstration, as well as playing with owl pellets, dissecting owl pellets to discover what this predator has been eating. And then on Sunday, they have a great backyard bird count. At the Ann Arnold County Public Library System this week, today, Discoveries, the library at the mall, has their Lego build with Discoveries. Saturday, the Eastport Annapolis Neck Library has the Ozobot Maze Challenge, and Odenton has Build and Play with Legos. On Monday, the Glen Burnie Library is doing Art Meet STEM with Wacky Sculpture Building, and Mountain Road is programming robots with Lego Mindstorm. On Tuesday, the Bush Annapolis Library is doing Cabin Fever Craft, and on Wednesday, Crofton has Legos for Adults. At Unallocated Space in Severn, tonight they have another virtual happy hour, tomorrow is a virtual amateur radio night, Monday is a project night, and then Wednesday is an open house. And at Annapolis Makerspace this week, on Tuesday we have our monthly general meeting, both virtual and in person. For anyone who wants to check out the shop, if you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.